My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 and the Japanese themed playthrough. Today's episode we're starting just on the outskirts of Uwajima and we can see the temple there and the town off into the middle distance. A little closer to home we can see our passenger service that was set up and started running last time around just departing the station of Uwajima. And hopefully he's got pretty much a full load there on the way through. But uh, even if not, it's nice having passenger service on the map nice and early. And of course, in the last episode, we started to build a, a second passenger line. And we left it about halfway through due to time constraints on the episode length. So today, obviously, we are going to want to get that finished as quickly as we can. There goes one of the food freight trains passing on underneath on the freight line there. So let's bring up the user interface straight away and just see where we're at. So we have about 8 million sat in the bank. A cash flow somewhere between 500,000 and a million. Obviously that does fluctuate over time but it's positive and that's the primary concern of course making sure we are making money. And of course we are, it is only easy mode this playthrough, so making money shouldn't really be a problem, barring any massive mess ups, which so far managed to avoid. So let's just have a look at this line here. So this is what we started last time around. And we left it off just on the other side of this tunnel, just here. Ready to be connected off into the mountains. And the other length of track is just here. And we can see the station for Iwanamori over there on the top of the screen with the uh, track ready to go. So let's pick it up exactly where we left off. And let's see if we can't get this track finished off today. Shouldn't take too long, hopefully. We've got most of the legwork done. The infrastructure is in place. All we have to do is get these two tracks to meet up. So where are we headed? Right, so we do want to be heading downwards, of course, because this track is pretty much at ground level or at sea level, and we are elevated quite a bit when set against that track. So we want to make sure we are heading down, but we want to make sure that it's not overly steep because the trains are going to struggle in the, uh, in the early game there. Let's just change that tunnel to a proper style tunnel rather than an invisible one. Right, how do we want to get over this here while also making sure we're heading downwards? If we went straight for the river, we'd be dropping too far as we can see. So we want to follow the contours of the land where possible. But we also want to make sure we're not going in at too steep of an angle when it comes to bridging over this little river here. Right, I think what I might do is head it to about there and maybe increase it just a little maybe 32 meters there we go and then have this come across like this we are still heading down this is now all going to be a viaduct so we'll make sure we have that rather than the invisible bridge and essentially the plan is here to have an overly long viaduct that not only gets it across the river here, but also starts to climb up into this little hillside stroke mountain side here on its way into Iwanamori. So there's that. And we can head straight over. That looks, well, it looks rather impressive. Yeah, I can live with that. And I think at this point, if we straight shot over there, what's the gradient like? Well, it's quite steep. Quite steep indeed. So, how about we delete a little bit of that and see about stretching that out as much as possible. That looks a little better. We're not dropping down to head back up anymore. Yeah. I think that will work quite nicely. So there we go. We have the connection between Uwajima and Iwanomori. 
However, what we don't have yet is a bus service down here, so we need to put one of those in before we do anything else. Well, let's get a bus stop just outside the station there. And we'll do a simple loop through the town of Iwanomori. Just like so. And we want to make sure we get this outlying residential area here before heading back. In fact, I want to make sure it does go up there before heading back. As I said, we can have a duplicate stop there and then it's going to head to the station. Let's set that up. So we're starting at the station and we're going this way around. And back, nope, we've missed a stop there. We want to stop here. There we go, that's better. Yeah, we'll change the colour. We don't want a brown bus service. Let's go for... We'll have the yellow here, why not? And let's quickly name this, and this will be bus service. And this is Iwano Mori Station. Perfect. Where's it gone? There it is. Yep, it's matching the naming system for the rest of the lines, which is the main thing. It's all set up, ready to go. We have a depot over here. May as well just use this one. There's no harm in that. Uh, it's going to be the Troika, of course, and we'll say five of those to start with. Colour them yellow. Let's head back down here, pop them on the line. And that's that. So now, as soon as the passenger line is set up our residents will have a way to get up to the station and of course vice versa they'll also have a way to get out of the station and into the town to do their whatever it is they've come here to do right so that's that done now there's one last thing we need to take care of and that's over here at Uwajima and what we want to do is put a second platform in for the service that's heading to Iwanomori so we're not having to share a platform with the line that runs over to Izumi Marchi over to the right hand side as we're looking at it so let's get that done then we'll put the tracks in position first of all we'll go for the full length of course and then we want platforms and we want the passenger platform and we'll use the modded variety rather than the standard vanilla platform like that we want the roof along the top and again we'll use the Japanese National Railway roof style there we go and we are going to need an underpass and I think we'll put an underpass there and we'll put one there as well and that'll be fine wonderful so that's the station at Uwajima ready the last thing we need to do is bring this in here Let's get as much speed here as we can, 50 miles per hour. It looks nice and tidy and neat. We'll need to do the same here as well because our depot is over here. So as it stands, it doesn't have access to this platform. So we'll do that. Perfect. And then very quickly, we're going to get that ballast paint tool that we all know and love. Drop that size right down a bit higher. About 10? Yeah, 10. There you go. And let's just paint over this grass in the middle of the station. Move away smoke. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, let's get rid of this overgrown effect that we have. We don't want that. Not at our busy principal capital station, of course. Do we need to do the same over here? No, that's all fine. Okay, so we should be ready to go. I don't think there's anything else that's going to cause a problem here. Let's set the line up. So we are going from Uwajima all the way over here to Iwanomori. Again, we really don't want to use that brown colour. It just doesn't look very nice and appealing for a passenger service. So our first passenger service is this lime green. I think, well, we may as well use the yellow, obviously, and then we have used it for various bus services, but there's no harm in using it for a passenger service on the rail lines. It's a different mode of transportation, so yeah, we'll do for that. Need to rename that station name, of course. 
Oh, can you do it through this menu? I never knew that. I'll check that, see if it's changed the name of the station over in Iwanomori. Right, so. What do we want to call this? So we're just going to call it the Uwajima Iwanomori Shuttle. I guess we will do, since that's what we've started with our first line. We may as well continue the theme. Might come back through at some point and rename these, of course. But for now, just calling them a shuttle service because it's going to be fine. Now, if we really wanted to be extravagant, we could have a service that runs from Iwanomori over to Izumi Marchi, but I don't think there's any calls for that. Not at this point. So let's figure out how to set that and let's get the train ready. And we're going to use the Class T Type 1. That's the new train we unlocked last time out. And for the wagons, we want passenger. We only have the Nicholas. We want these to be yellow. And we'll go for two again. And like before, we're going to stick to a single train running the service for now. What we'll do is we'll gauge the popularity of the service. And if we need to double track or put in some passing loops on this line, we'll do that. And then we can, of course, have two trains running this line. But we'll just see how it takes in terms of its popularity. Now, we don't have anybody waiting yet, but I don't think there would be. It needs a bit of time to kick in. So what we'll do, we'll make sure we're on one quarter speed. Go to four times acceleration. And just while that service is bedding in and we can get a feel for how it's going to take, we'll just do a bit of terraforming over here, where we have this rather artificial looking rise in the land just along here let's just try and smooth and blend some of that out as much as we can height map texture tool i don't know what that does i don't want to touch it <laughs> let's just leave that there we go i like this almost two-tier effect that we have here i think that looks quite nice i'm not sure if those the rock textures work here. I might paint over that with grass. But yes, first of all, let's just get this looking as natural as we can. That looks better. Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, this rock texture here that it's generated. I'm just going to paint over that and see if it looks a little better without. So it's the grass light green, I believe. Yeah, that's the one. We want to make sure we don't paint on the tracks, of course. We don't want to overdo the ballast. Or paint out, not overdo. We don't overwrite, I suppose. There goes the train now, the shuttle train. A bit of rock showing through here and there is fine. But I'd rather have it as primarily grass. There we go, that looks better. Yeah, I prefer that. Let's get rid of that little bit there as well while we're here. That's better. Wonderful. Okay, so let's see. Do we have any passengers yet? Oh, we certainly do. Look at that. Ten. My, my, that's not a bad uptake in the first uh, first couple of minutes of service. And it's going up even further, up to 11. I guess we just had a passenger drop off, or we're about to. Another, another three right here. I don't know where these are all coming from. They're coming from this direction. Where are they, where are they spawning in from? Not sure what's happening there with those. But yes, 15 people waiting. More on their way. So it looks like this could be a nice little shuttle for us. But it's got 16 on her maiden voyage. I'm not sure if she picked up in Uwajima or if she came straight through to here. I didn't pay any attention. Although we will be able to tell by selecting the train. And seeing if it's made any money. No. Okay, so it's not picked anybody up yet. This is the maiden voyage of this train. Looks very nice going over that viaduct there. Must be a wonderful view for the passengers. Of course, at the end of today's episode, we will take a ride on that train and take in some of these views on the way between these two cities. But enough about that for now. We need to get some time to bed in and see what sort of uh, uptake we have. I have done my best here, as we can see, to fix that terrain issue that I created last time out. And I think it looks, well, it certainly looks a lot better. We don't have that random square of water showing through anymore, which is always a positive. 
The only downside is I've, I've had to basically agree to having this rather angular ridge here, but it's better than having random squares of water floating about. I'm sure we'll all agree on that front. The other thing I did do between episodes as well is obviously we unlocked, unlocked, we unlocked the Russian class type T last time around and I have upgraded all of the trains to run with the class T uh, rather than the class 1.5 or whatever it was before, I'm not sure what the initial train is, but they've all now been retired from service in lieu of the class T's. Here comes our train, making its first drop off, 124,000 for what was essentially a half load. Look at that 21 heading back, so it looks like that's going to be a popular, popular service. What do we have up here waiting? Well, we've got 17 already, so there's every chance but that by the time the train gets down here, we're going to have a full load. What do we have waiting here? Wow. So we might need more buses on here already. I think we'll go ahead and duplicate those and it's easy mode. Let's splash out. Let's just double them entirely and have 10 buses or troikas running this service. We have a lot of people waiting to get up to the station. So I suppose the more we can get them up here in terms of its, its frequency and its throughput, the better, even if they're not all fully loaded. There we go, 25. I think our train does handle a max of 26. Yes, so it looks like we are going to get a full load here, which is fantastic. Come on, we've got to get one more in before the train arrives. We had a drop off. There we go, look at that. In fact, some of you are going to miss this train and you have to wait a couple of hours for the next one. But there you go, such is life for you. Anyway, that's that all taken care of. Leave that to do its thing in the background and we'll start planning out the next expansion. Now I wouldn't mind getting the machines into here. Now I do believe we discovered that the machinery factory, the only one, is away down here on the coast somewhere. Can't quite remember where it was. Oh my word, that is, yeah, that's, that's a fair old distance. Right, so. We have two sawmills here to get the planks. The nearest forest, however, where where would we be coming from? We have a couple up here. Or we have this one here. I think that sort of route makes sense to me. It looks quite direct and then it could continue on down to here. And then we've got the steel. We've got a steel mill here. Coal and iron. We have iron here. Coal, however, I haven't seen any. All the way up there. Nothing any closer? No, I don't think so. So yes, that's going to be quite an epic journey in this fired up. However, I've just reminded myself in my head that I'd like to branch out naturally rather than jumping all over the map you know, in a sporadic fashion. So we're going to have to come back to that. And we have to essentially aim to worm our way over to there. So it's all interlinked. And then we can start with the tool, uh, sorry, with the, the machinery production. So if we're heading this way, then if that's the, the big uh, goal for now is to head over here. The best way to do it, I'm just looking at the land as we scroll past here. Right, we've got quite a formidable ridge here. We could, could we skirt down to Akihama and then where would we go from there? We're a bit nestled in here. If we get down to ground level, yeah, we're quite confined. I don't really want to go all along the coast. I mean, eventually it would be nice to have a coastal railway. But for now, I'd just like to get over here as quickly as we can. We're over there. Now let's, in fact, let's do it this way. Let's trace our path backwards. So here's where we want to get our network reaching. So we could go from here to here. I'm basically city hopping here. So yes, from Yawatahama up to Wakayama. And then 
We've got Yamada or Seo or Shinjo relatively near, well I say nearby, but the next towns in line. Now we do have this quite a nice valley here to follow. Or we could just plough through the mountain here, skirt around this farm. That's quite an expansive farm, I like that. Yeah, skirt around here and into Yamada. And then from Yamada, we would hop over to Sayo. And then where do we want to head to next? Well, we could go to Akanmar. And then through to Mima or Mima. And then look, there we are. Our next town is Zumimachi. Maybe that's what we'll do. Of course, this is all passenger lines I'm planning here. That's why we're going from town to town. So at some point, this cargo line that we have is going to have to meet up with the passenger line. Because obviously we want to get the, the machinery basically along the same tracks all the way back through into here. Obviously bypassing all of the stations that we've just discussed. We want to get it into here as quickly as we can. We'd, uh, we'd keep the cargo line separate of course, but having them run side by side isn't a bad idea. Right, so that's what we'll do. That's the that's my current semi-long term project for this series. That's what I want to do next. Because then it's only to do, satisfy one production chain just to get the machinery in here. But I think that's, yeah, that's what I'd like to focus on. It gives me a nice set, like I said, semi-long term goal and something to work towards. So then if we're going from Izumimachi over to Mima or Mima, we basically want to be heading off this way. Would we want to keep a line ready heading up this way into the valley? What we need? Yeah, we could do. We'll run up to Kaihoku in the future, but that's obviously another thing to consider. For now, we want to get over to Mima, Mima. And following the valley would make the most sense. Relatively straight. The only thing we've got to do is get out of the station, bank over immediately, cross the river, through this little hillside here, drop down into the valley, and then it should be fairly straightforward getting through the valley into the town over here. Let's make a start on that then. I think that'll be a nice little project to do for today. So first things first, we want our tracks. Now, unfortunately, we are, oh no, we are a little raised up. And if we jump up just a couple of meters like that, nothing too extravagant, just a three meter jump. I think if we then keep it straight from here, we might have enough to get a bridge over this little river. Indeed, we will. Of course, we don't want an invisible bridge. We want a viaduct style bridge and we'll keep it straight. Yeah, a nice straight bridge. There we go. And then, yeah, we're heading into the mountain. Again, we'll keep this level here. Now, this should be quite an expensive tunnel, but there's nothing wrong with that. There you go, half a million, 658,000 to be precise. But essentially, what we're trying to do here is get through this valley, back out. Sorry, not through the valley. We're going to get through the hillside into the valley. Well, you could probably just drop down to your natural level now. You're over a long distance there, so shedding what's that it's about three meters that i don't want certainly don't want that yeah let's try that again yeah bring you out wonderful in fact let's go oh maybe not yeah could we go that way it's a bit tight isn't it yeah let's head but then again curving around there is going to be tight Maybe we're better taking the hit here. We don't have to go too slow. 65's fine. We can always improve that a little bit later on. And then we're coming through here, aiming to get alongside the road, of course. We have a tunnel there, so we want to make sure we actually select a tunnel texture rather than having an invisible tunnel. What's that gradient? That's quite a, quite a change there. 
Let's see, that's getting even higher and higher. Well, how about, oh God. Now you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do it. It could be a struggle for the early trains, but long term, it shouldn't be too bad. There's only a medium gradient. So I think we're gonna be, yeah, I think we'll get away with that. Right, where are we heading? Where's our town? Over there. Right. So really, we want to be over this side of this road. Can we get a bridge? Well, we can. Can we get a bridge like this, though? Aha, no. Bridge pillar collision. Oh, there you go, there you go. That's what you want. It's a bit low, I think, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Nah, nah, that's fine. I can live with that. Boom, there we go. So we're on the side of the road that we wanted to be on, which is great. So yeah, you just do do your own thing now, essentially. And we just want to take you through this little valley here, making sure the gradients don't get too ridiculous. I mean, I think you are going to rise and fall a little, which which is fine, you know. We just don't need to be silly. How's that? It's hard to see from this sort of angle. I, hmm. Yeah, it's not too bad. It is climbing, of course, but it's a fair old distance. 600 meters. Go away. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, so let's just press on. We might have to have a little viaduct here because it seems to fall away a little. And then it does it pick it back up? Yeah, kind of. But we can head for this bit here. And I'm thinking we'd tunnel straight through here rather than curving around constantly. So we'll tunnel through here. Out here. And then we're pretty much there. So let's go for that. So what are you doing there? 51 to 47 meters. That's, yeah, it's not bad. As I said, we want to be mindful that eventually we're going to have freight running down here as well. Not on this line, of course. This is a passenger line, but we're going to have freight lines running parallel. So we want to be a little bit mindful about the space around us. We don't want to box ourselves in. So yeah, here's the tunnel we were talking about. Now, what do you do if you stay flat? That's not bad. Make sure we have a texture, of course. And then take it straight on through. 1.3 million. That's not really a problem. Oh, that dip is... No, no, I can't live with that. That, that dip right there is ridiculous. We'll take the tunnel. I'm happy with that bit. This bit of the track's fine. It's just this weird dip to go down to come back up again. But that can be fixed. I've deleted a stretch of the road there, I am aware. Put that back in at some point. Right. How's that? Are you still dip it? It's hard to tell. Well, it's hard to tell when you're not looking at it. Let's try that. There we go. Um, you're humping a bit there. Um, let's have a look. How's that? It's doing it again. It's this bit here. I think it's where it's it's because it's snapping to the road. That's the problem. Right, this is not a major connection, so we can get rid of it. So let's get rid of all of that. And we'll go from here. Get rid of this. Now, this time it should be a lot smoother because it's not trying to snap to that road anymore. Let's see. Oh yes. Much better, I think. Let's have a look from back here. Yeah, that's better. That's what we wanted. Now we need to get this road put back in. It's not being used, but we may as well rebuild it. So, come this way. You, I don't really care what you do. Right, where's the other bit of the road there? Well, there you go. Sorted. Job is a good one. Right, so back to the train line. Where are we? Here we are. Right, where is our town? That way. 
Why is that queen at such a gradient? Is it just the way the lay of the land is? I guess it is. And it looks like that's going to be unavoidable. So what we might have to do is readjust this tunnel. A lot of trial and error here. Let's come out that way. How does that look in terms of the gradient now? Is there somewhere we can see? There we go. That's not too bad. A lot better. Yeah, a lot better. Right, and then through here. You're going up quite a bit there, aren't you? My word. But that's the way it goes down here with the looks of it. Nothing we can do about that. Now, one thing we do have to remember is this is not an actual river. And it's going to do that weird thing again. So we're going to have to put in a manual bridge here. That's not high enough. There we go. We want the viaduct. Uh, yes. Perhaps not. Perhaps that way a bit. About there. Yep. So there's our bridge. Oh, it's done that weird thing where it floats. Well, I think it should. Nope. Nope. It's not going to do it. I thought it would put the feet back in. Clearly not. Let's go back up again. Back to there. There we go. That's better. Now, where's our train line? Yeah, it's not a bad angle, I don't think. And then I think... What's that doing? 102 to 72 metres. So it's coming up. Wow. Wow, that's really coming up there. Right, okay. Well, we'll keep the bridge. But what we'll do is we'll rethink this bit. Take this back quite a bit. Let's just see what happens if I tell it to do that. That looks better. So just make sure we are putting... Yeah, yeah, we've got a bridge there. Make sure we've got a tunnel texture there. Jump into the trees there. Right, there we go. Yeah. Lovely. All good. Yeah. Take it. Live with it. Take it. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Right, so here we are. We're pretty much in the town now. Where do we want our station? Plenty of space to work with over here. I'm thinking, which way did we, did we say we're heading to after Mima? That's the question. I can't remember. It wasn't to Futana. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Was it a Kanmar? I think so. So I think we'll have our station here. Let's dump that right about... Well, first we want to make sure we get the right length. There we go. Let's go big. Oh, we've got... Yeah, let's put the station there. Arbitrarily, but it'll work. We want the streets, of course. I thought that was a little insect crawling on my monitor then. Nope, it's wildlife. Anyway, carry on. So, we want the street connection. That's horrific. As is that. Can you stay flat, please? How's that? That's all kinds of wrong. Where's this? How's that? that? There we go. That's what we're looking for. And there. Yeah. That's much nicer. Right. Head like that. And then like that. Fantastic. So now we just need to get from here to here. It'll be quite a sharp turn. And also quite a sharp gradient. What's it? Well, that's not what we're doing. My word. How's that? Well, it's not too bad. Could we... Yeah. yeah? I don't see why not. Yeah, why not? Right, this road will need redoing. Because that's rubbish. And in fact, let's take you all the way back to the bridge there. And we'll send you here where you're more inclined to give me a tunnel. Let's see if you'll give me a tunnel. Go on, you know you want to. You nearly... You really don't want to there, my God. There we go. Yep, yeah, fine. Yeah, happy with that. It's not being used by anything. It's just for cosmetics. Fine, fine. Where, where are we going? Oh, you're just there. 
Let's come out there. A bit, of, a bit of wiggle here and there on the roads. There you go. Yeah, I don't see much wrong with that. Like I said, it's not being used by anything in particular, so why not? Well then, in theory, we could have a service now from Izumi Marchi over to Amima, Mima. And I think we may as well. So what do we want on a platform? No, we want a track. There we go. What? Why, why have you upset yourself? What's wrong with you? Is it you? I bet it's you. No path. Well, you do, so get on with it. Yeah, anyway, there we go. Now let's get this second service going up. Well, sir, second, second of the second of the episode, third overall. Get your words out. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, 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 all good. Let's have a platform. We'll just have the vanilla platforms out here. Mix it up a little bit. Why not? So we're going bang, bang, bang. And there, and then another four, one, two, three, and four. We want a roof. Not a roof. We want a roof. Not a, f yep. Yeah. We want a canopy. Get it, yeah. Stick with canopy. Can't mess that up. Right, anyway. Oh, we've already got the, uh, the underpass. Yes. Oh, put one there. Oh, you've got one. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm getting confused. There we go. And there. That's right. Well, there you go. I think it would make more sense to have a service from Uwe Jima over to uh, Mima. Yeah. Which will mean having to double track this, but that's fine. It's not a long stretch. And then we'd have to bypass Izumi Marchi on the way through to... In fact, we'll sort that out at another point. Let's just do a, a straight line. Let's just go point to point for now. We could rejig them all about a little bit later. But there we go. Izumi Marchi to Mima. What colour? Ooh, a nice pink. Lovely. And this is the Mima Izumi Marchi shuttle. There we go. Now, it's not going to work at the minute because we have no catchment. So, we need to do that nice and quick. We've seen it all a million times now. And again, it's only a small town, so I dare say we could get away with just three stops there. So, you go in there to there and then to there. Yes, one, two, three, all fine. Let's change the color. Yeah, you can have a red. And let's name this up. There's a bus line. So this is a bus, not nus. This is bus service. Mima station. There we go. We don't have a depot out here, of course. So we're going to need one of those. Road depot. Let's, let's put it down at the station. Not doing any harm down there. Five vehicles, Troika. Uh, three of those red and line one I thought I'd renamed it clearly not I have a service Mima station why is that what have I renamed I don't understand line manager visible lines line one right so this is bus service Mima station and I'll put a full stop to differentiate it from the one I've accidentally called what? you're going to a f food plant right let's where are you? what one are you? oh you're the brick delivery for Iwanamori right okay I'm clearly just clicking all the things there I can't spell that at all. Eway no more. And it's not just brick, is it? It's brick delivery. There we go. It's been a long day. Right, that's better. And then back over to Mima. Up here. And this is not line one full stop. It is, of course, 
just... Well, it's not even line one at all, is it? I changed it. There you go. My God, that was so hard. Like I said, it's been a long day. Right, let's get this line set up. Did we do the line? As you, yes, we did. Let's get the train. Right, train by vehicle. I'm pausing it because he's passed, so he should be able to come straight out as it stands. Uh, class T type 1. Passenger, we'll go two of them, but we want to paint them, of course. And we went for the rather fetching pink colour. And there they go. Wonderful. There they go. Not bad, not bad. How is this doing? Woo! 33 people. How is it, do it doing over here? Oh my word, it's popular. 94! Good heavens. Right, yeah, we need to double track this then. We'll do that before the end. We'll do it right now. Let's get this double tracked. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. So we'll double track over here. We don't need to double track the entire length. We'll have a, a couple of passing loops. In fact, let's pause it. I see the train just off camera there. So we'll make sure we can get this done before the train passes. And we want the passing signal passage version, I think. One way, yes. So one there. One, where are you? All the way up there. That's fine. And we'll have a passing loop here as well on this nice, relatively flat stretch here. So again, decent enough speed. All the way along, nice and flat down here, lovely to work with. And then bring it back in before the tunnel. There we go. Let's get the signals back and we'll do the same here. So we want one there. One back there. And that's that. So now let's duplicate this rather popular train. There we go. Right, has our Mima train left yet? I guess so, there it is. Nothing on board, so it's, I don't think it's stopped there. But we have our first passengers over here. Well, there you go. Passenger lines, aren't they brilliant? And I think on that rather successful note, we've expanded quite a bit today. A lot more than I thought we were going to do. Uh, we shall leave it here for today. That's the nice thing about easy mode. You know, you can just basically do whatever you want and don't have to worry about it. So this jumping from town to town to town, it's easily, you know, easily accomplished. And it should be quite profitable. Speaking of profits, how is this line doing in terms of profits? My word, that's nice. Wonderful. Now, as I said, we'll get on one of these trains for the cab ride outro. So we'll get into position. Yep, just make sure I'm on one time speed there. And we are. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm very tired filming this one today. So... Uh, that little hiccup there with a the line name in a few moments ago, uh, you'd have to forgive me for that. Uh, yeah, been a long, long, long day. Long week, actually. Long couple of weeks. Uh, but such is life. These things are sent to test us. So, yes, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're enjoying the series so far. A lot different to the hard mode series, of course. You can basically do what you want here. It's basically model railway simulator in easy mode, if you ask me, which is quite nice. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, if you did go ahead and hit that little thumbs up button there down below, and if you'd like to subscribe for future content then go ahead and do so as well. All that remains for me to say of course ladies and gentlemen, as always take very good care of yourselves, tata for now.